it's me, wish me a 52 and I today was going to go over some of my expectations and some of the rumors for the Apple event tomorrow in California at 10 o'clock a.m. California time, Eastern Standard Time, it'll air at about, at about 1. Okay, one of our first um, rumors is that the iPod Nano is going to get a touch screen. This touch screen will be 3 centimeters by 3 centimeters. Um, my opinion on this is, honestly, I don't think the Nano needs a touch screen. I mean, you already have the click wheel. Every iPod should not have a touch screen. I mean, the touch is fine with one, but the ones that should not touch with touch screens is the Nano and the Classic. I feel that these two should not have them because then the original iPod design is gone. That's what iPod started on, that's what iPod should stay on, except for the touch, because the touch obviously was made to be a touch device, not only music, but also gaming. So my opinion is, no, that is a bad idea. That is a slight rumor though, it's not as strong as some of the others. We are also getting some rumors that the iPod Shuffle, the whole front, will be a touch screen. Honestly, for me, my opinion is, this is also a bad idea. Not only, like I said before, that iPods, besides the iPod Touch, should not have a touch screen, but because it would be such a small touch screen, it, it probably would be barely usable. I mean, even if it would only have music controls, if the whole front's gonna be glass, that's gonna be so delicate. My opinion again. As I said, I don't want that. I don't, I don't think that's... Okay, our next rumor is the iPod Touch is going to get both a front-facing and rear-facing camera. We don't know about the LED flash. I don't think it's going to get a flash. I think it's just going to be a front-facing. I don't think there's going to be any back-facing. I think it's going to be a front-facing, and then there's going to be a microphone right next to it. Um, honestly, I don't think they're going to give it both. Say they got rid of Wi-Fi and entered a camera, I think I would rather have Wi-Fi. The iPod Touch isn't much without Wi-Fi. It's just gaming, you have to go on the computer to add it, to add the game, and the music player. It no longer is in the class of a personal computer, which I think that's what Apple wanted, was a personal computer that was not as um, expensive as the iPhone, but you could just simply do it without having a plan for 3G, which brings us to our next point. The iPod Touch having 3G coverage. Just like the iPad, we know it would be on AT&T for the price of $24.99 a month for some data. Um, honestly, I wouldn't do this either because if you give the iPod Touch 3G, what's going to be the point of an iPhone? I mean, you can hack the iPod Touch to make phone calls. And if it's going to have FaceTime, the only thing is, nothing. I mean, if that was added, an iPhone would no longer be needed, which I don't think Apple wants to do, because they like the iPhone as well as many consumers like me. I enjoy it. I like it. And then next, while we're on touchscreen devices, the Retina display going to the iPod Touch. Um, I think this is a good upgrade and I think it's really going to happen because the Retina display will only cost Apple about $20 to add. So even if they would bump the price up $20, I think it's still worth it because, I mean, the Retina display is one of the best displays. It has more pixels than the Evo 4G, which that is a pretty nice screen, but it has many, many more pixels for a smaller screen. Next, they're going to do an iTunes upgrade. I think that's going to be very welcome. I don't really know what they're going to add. add besides the... They're supposed to double the preview time and make it a 60 second preview, which I like more because you can get more into the feel of the song. Because if you don't get the feel of the song, you're not going to want to buy it, which I think that'll make more money for Apple. We like that. Um, I also think, since Steve Jobs did say in the fall that iOS 4 will be coming to the iPad, I think we're going to see that. Um, I then, if, as long as it has multitasking, it's a worthwhile upgrade, but if it does not have multitasking, it's not worth it, because you can already do backgrounds and stuff like that, so if it doesn't have multitasking, it's not going to be worth it. Next, we're going to look at iLife 11. 
I really think um, since it's a music event, they're going to really update GarageBand, which I really don't use, but most of you musicians will be using it. And I think they should also give a pretty big upgrade to iMovie. The iMovie songs and titles are starting to get kind of old. I also think that they should add more effects to iMovie, like iMovie HD had. So they should add more effects. And lastly, which the thing I think I'm doubting pretty much, the new Apple TV, or as they're thinking of changing the name to iTV, I don't think this is going to happen because this really is more of a music event. Apple TV is more movies. I don't think this is going to happen. I think they're either going to have their own event or they're going to wait until the January event. Um, they're probably not going to do it during the winter event. So they're, I think their own event or they're going to wait until the January event. Um, they're probably not going to do it during the winter event. So they're, I think they're going. I think they're either going to have their own event or they're going to wait until the January event. Um, they're probably not going to do it during the winter event, so they're, I think they're going to release that during the January event. We'll talk about it anyway. Um, the differences that are going to be in the new ITV, as I'm going to call it, is going to be less onboard storage. Since most of the programming will come from streaming online, and I also think that they're going to lower the price. I've heard rumors of $99. Which, if it comes down to 99, I'll probably ask for one. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, we're already up to eight minutes. I so probably should get this going along. Um, I hope you like Mabel Shabby 22, and hope we'll get our expectations for the Apple event. Um, me, once as soon as I can get home, I'm going to watch it live. It'll probably be over by then, but you never know. Maybe they're going to be doing a lot more. So. Just lastly, the thing I want to see the most is probably the new iPod Touch with two cameras. Um, two cameras would be nice. Um, that could take both video and pictures, but let's not get our hopes up. An LED flash would be nice. As long as it has Wi-Fi and the Retina display, I think it'll be a worthwhile upgrade. This has been me, Bush AP 2 breaking down my idea of the Apple event. Goodbye.